I'm continuing this series of introduction demos to InfoPath 2010 by talking about something which isn't technically an InfoPath feature. I'm going to show the new InfoPath form web part in SharePoint 2010. One of the great benefits of InfoPath 2007 was the ability to create browser-enabled forms which could be opened in an internet browser from SharePoint. It was also possible to put an InfoPath form into a SharePoint site as a web part, but it wasn't particularly obvious how to do this. Now it's much simpler. Here I have a web part page in SharePoint 2010. I have designed an InfoPath form which I have published to SharePoint and now I want to display this form as part of this page. I click on the Add Web Part button. Now the SharePoint Ribbon UI gives me a selection of web parts to choose from. I've selected Office Client Applications and I'll choose the InfoPath Form Web Part. I can now add this to my page. I need to choose some settings for this form, so I'll open the tool pane. SharePoint offers me a list of InfoPath forms which have been published to this site, and I just choose the one I want. If I wanted to, I could change other settings, but I'll just click OK. Now I have my form displaying as part of my SharePoint page. I'll exit the edit mode. When I click inside this form, I get a new Forms tab in the Ribbon UI for SharePoint. When I go into it, I get various form controls such as Save and Submit. When you are designing your InfoPath 2010 forms, you can decide which of these functions should be available to the user in the browser. So there you've seen how quick and simple it is to add an InfoPath 2010 form as a web part to a SharePoint 2010 page.